Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to make a circular pattern which can be used as a placemat, as a doily, as a coaster, as a pot holder and if you are going to use cotton yarn for this project, you can use it for hot pad as well. The techniques that I am going to apply for this pattern are chains, single crochet, double crochet and treble crochet. So this is a very good tutorial for those who want to learn all these basic stitches. So we are going to begin now. Things that we require for this project are a yarn of your choice, a pair of scissors and a hook of 2.5 mm. So let's get started. At first you have to pick up the tail of the yarn, make a loop, insert the hook in, pull through to make a slip knot. Now wrap the yarn on your hook, pull through, pull through, pull through and pull through. These are 4 chains. We have to make 10 chains. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we have to go back to the first chain, insert the hook in, yarn over, pull through both the loops. This is slip stitch. Now foundation ring is ready. Chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, double crochet two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now we have to join the stitches into the third chain of the fourth stitch. So insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. This round is complete. A chain 1, 2, 3, skip 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, skip 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, skip 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, Skip 2 stitches on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, there would be 8 chain spaces of 3. Now we have to come to this chain space of 3 with slip stitch. Now chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet. Into this chain space of 3, double crochet 2, 3, 4 and 5. Chain 1 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 3, double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chain 1 for chain space, into the next chain space of 3, double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Chain 1 for chain space. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be complete. When this round is complete, we have to make chain 1. Now we have to join the stitches into the third chain 
of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now we have to make single crochet one now on the top of this stitch chain one two three four five we have to skip one two three four stitches on the top of the third stitch of the next cluster join the stitches with slip stitch chain one two three four five skip four stitches one two three four on the top of the third stitch of the next cluster join the stitches with slip stitch chain five one two three four five skip one two three four stitches on the top of the next stitch join the stitches with slip stitch so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the same stitch where we began the round with slip stitch on the top of this stitch chain 1 2 3 4 which counts as a treble crochet chain 1 for chain space wrap the yarn twice on the hook insert the hook into the same stitch pull through pull through 2 pull through 2 pull through 2 this is treble crochet chain 1 for chain space wrap the yarn twice on the hook into this chain space of 5 treble crochet 1 treble crochet 2 treble crochet 3 4 5 6 7 8 Now chain 1 for chain space wrap the yarn twice on the hook into this stitch where we joined the chains treble crochet 1 chain 1 for chain space into the same stitch treble crochet 2 chain 1 for chain space into this chain space of 5 8 treble crochet so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 chain 1 for chain space into the single crochet where we joined these chains insert the hook in and make a treble crochet chain 1 for chain space into the same stitch one more treble crochet so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain 1 now we have to join the stitches into the fourth chain of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now we have to come to this chain space of 1 with single crochet chain 1 2 3 4 which counts as a treble crochet chain 2 for chain space now wrap the yarn twice on the hook into this chain space of 1 a treble crochet chain 1 for chain space on the top of 8 treble crochet we have to make 8 trebles again so treble crochet 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 chain 1 for chain space 
into this chain space of 1, treble crochet 1, chain 2 for chain space, into the same chain space of 1, treble crochet 1, chain 1 for chain space. Now we have to complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to make chain 1. Now we have to join the stitches into the 4, 2nd, 3rd, 4th chain of the 4th stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to make chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet into this chain space of 2, double crochet 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches in between 4th and 5th stitch with slip stitch. Chain 2 for chain space. Now into this chain space of 2, 12 double crochet. Double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Chain 2 for chain space. In between 4th and 5th treble crochet, join the stitches with slip stitch. Chain 2 for chain space. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to make chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the third chain of the first stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to make chain 1, 2 and 3. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 2, do not close it. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 3. Now there are 3 loops on the hook, pull through all the 3. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4 for chain space. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, do not close it. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, do not close it. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1. Now there are 4 loops on the hook, pull through all the 4. Chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, do not close it. Double crochet 2, on the top of the next stitch, do not close it. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 3, pull through all the loops, chain 1, 2, 3 and 4. Yarn over. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, do not close it. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, do not close it. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1. Pull through all the loops, chain 1, 2, 3, 4. Now join the stitches into this single crochet. So insert the hook in, pull through, pull through 2. Chain 4 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be complete. When this round is complete, we have to make chain 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4 spittle with slip stitch. Now this circular pattern is complete. This pattern can be used as a placemat, as a mini doily, as a coaster or even as a pot holder. This can be a very good gifting option too. Thank you so much.